Good morning, Earth children. It's Mr. Bruce in time for our book of the day. Today we'll be reading Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana. Bad Banana. But before we start, eyes watching, ears listening, voices quiet, body calm. This is Pete the Cat. Pete is eating a banana. Pete the cat loves banana because they're so tasty. They are sweet and easy to peel. If you remember to peel them from the top down, not the bottom up, and don't eat the peel. Every morning, Pete puts a banana on his cereal, like Mr. Bruce, and sometimes Pete also puts a banana on his peanut butter and sandwiches. That is the best sandwich ever. Peanut butter and banana. And you know who loved it? Elvis, the king. And he was a hunk of burning love. One day, though, Pete reaches for the last banana. And it's bad banana. It's a little old. It's got bruised spots on it. But he says, I'll eat it anyway. But the banana is gross. It is mushy. It is yucky. Not the best banana. After he's done eating it, Pete's tummy hurts. I will not eat bananas again, he tells his mom. His mom goes and gets him some of that pink medicine to make his stomach feel better. But he's not forgetting. He's done with bananas. Well, Pete's mom tries to help. She makes him his favorite banana bread. Mmm, yummy banana bread. Pete, however, will not touch it. Mm -mm. He remembers his bad banana experience. She makes Pete a banana cream pie. Delicious to eat. Wonderful to throw. Pete also will not eat it. Mm. Then Pete's mom goes out and gets him everything and makes him a wonderful banana split. It's got ice cream and syrup and nuts and cherries and whipped cream. You know what Pete says? Meow. In the cat language, that means, no, thank you. Instead, Pete tries, for some reason, a lemon, just because it's yellow, I guess. Pete tastes it, and here's the face you make when you eat a lemon. <clears throat> Yuck, says Pete. This lemon is sour. <laughs> Pete then tries a pickle. It's long like a banana, so Pete tastes the pickle. Mmm, better, but still not sweet like a banana, he says. Next, Pete tries an orange. Like a banana, it has to be peeled from the top down, not the bottom up. Pete peels the banana tries the banana. The orange is sweet, but it's too juicy, and it makes his paws all sticky. Ew. Well, Pete tries lots of things. He tries fish. He tries plums. He tries rice. He tries hot dogs. He tries watermelon. Finally, he tries his mom's nut bread, which is right here. Well, Pete eats them all. He's not hungry for just bananas anymore. Then comes the big race. Before he races, Pete says, what should I have for breakfast before I run this marathon? He's number three. A pickle? No, he doesn't eat pickles for breakfast. A hot dog. Everybody likes hot dogs, no? Pete just had a hot dog for dinner last night. He's not going to have him for breakfast. A lemon? No. I think we've learned our, our lesson with lemons. Pete wants a banana. They're yummy and healthy, and they are the best. And look who's standing next to him at the starting line of the race, eating a banana. It's a simian monkey. Do you have another mad banana? Pete asks the monkey. Of course, says Greg the monkey. Greg is a very popular name amongst monkeys. We don't know why. P 
Pete peels the banana slowly and checks it. It is not brown. It is not mushy. It is not gross. It is not yucky. Pete takes a teeny tiny bite. It is a yummy banana. Maybe the best banana he's ever eaten. Mm, mm, mm. Thanks to Greg and his banana, Pete wins the race. From that day on, Pete is bananas for bananas. That means he loves them. The end. So here's my question. Did you ever have something to eat that your mom or dad or granny or Tia gave you and you tried it and didn't like it and then later on you tried it again and you did like it? Well, what was that food? Okay? Try to think of a food that you didn't like and now you like it. I'll be back tomorrow, but I must remind you all, wash your hands and be good. And if any of your folks, your mom or your dad or your grandma or grandpa or Tia or anyone wants to read, they can get in touch with me or Heidi and we'll find a way to put them on. And they can read too, not just Mr. Bruce. So until I see you tomorrow, be good and wash your hands. Bye-bye.